Hello DIY craft shoppers. Today we are making clay ornamental mushrooms. These are strictly for indoor use and enjoyment uh, to decorate a plant pot or a wreath of some kind. Um, the point is that they shouldn't be exposed to a lot of moisture or constant watering um, because they are air. This is an air dry clay material and uh, it will uh, disintegrate over time if it is allowed to get wet constantly. So these are purely decorative. Um, now you can make these little things and put them outdoors if you like. Um, maybe you put them in a, a under cover or um, put them outside where they'll get regular rain and just see how it goes. Um, but yeah, mostly they are for indoor use. Uh, in your kit, you will get uh, a little bag of clay. You will have two wooden sticks three wire pieces just like this. I've used my wire already to make one of the examples um, and you should have five small pieces of wire. The large wire is 12 gauge. The small wire I believe is 16 gauge, but I'm not sure for sure about the small wire. Um, here is the example that I made for you to see. And uh, for the smaller one, here's the other example I made. So there you go. Okay, so you also will need a surface that you can get dirty and a cup of water. Now I can't get this surface dirty, so I grabbed some wax paper. And you can do that too. You can grab wax paper, you can grab parchment paper, just something that will protect the surface that you're working on. Okay, and uh, you should also have enough clay to make three large mushrooms and four and or five small mushrooms. If you economize, you your clay will go the whole distance, but um, really you can either, either or situation. You can make three large ones or five small ones. Um, I would suggest to take a look at some images of mushrooms before you do this project. Just do a quick Google search. Um, there's lots of different, mushrooms come in lots of different shapes and sizes. And uh, it's just, if nothing else, it'll be an inspiration for when you actually make the mushrooms. Let's get started. Take out your clay from the plastic bag. Also, if you have, uh, if you're sensitive to wet and sticky feeling materials, grab some rubber gloves because this is sticky and wet and some people have a sensitivity to that, that kind of feeling. So uh, you'll want to do that. So for the first thing, I'm going to make the large one first. And so I'm just going to grab a, or peel off or pick off a, um, this is like a grape size maybe or a strawberry size piece of clay. And I'm going to roll it between my palms, my palms of my hands. And I'm kind of inspired by the, <clears throat> the uh, Rick Stone funnel cap. So I'm gonna make that. And I'm just going to shape my mushroom into, use my palms to kind of shape it into a cone. And I'm going to make it into kind of a reverse funnel in a way. So you're just going to manipulate the mushroom, you know, or the clay, excuse me until it has a quality that you think, okay, that looks like a mushroom to me. That works. For this one, um, I don't need to, I, in a couple of examples, we're going to tear off some clay and make the, the top of the mushroom and the bottom of the mushroom separate. For this particular one, I don't need to do that. And I can also, uh, if I see cracks, I can smooth them out with my fingers and just like that. Uh, it's really up to you how you want your object to look or how you want your mushroom to look. And I'm just um, wanting mine to look uh, pretty smooth to, to, from the get-go. Um, so I'm just going to make this upwards. I'm gonna bend it upwards. Now see, I have a crack here and I'm gonna dip my finger in the water and just rub it until it smooths, smooths out. Some of the, the clay will naturally fill in that gap, it'll get wet, and it'll, it, as you move it around the clay, it will dry out. Okay, so I like, I really like how the shape is looking, whoa. And uh, now I'm gonna do the same thing to the top. I'm just going to kind of use some water to smooth it and make it look exactly the way I want it. Mm 
Okay, I really like how that looks. Now I'm gonna take my one of my wooden sticks and I'm going to create some depth and dimension and character. So I know the particular mushroom that I'm thinking about has these lines that go along the, the base and the underside of it. So I'm just gonna use this wooden stick as my tool. Okay, and go all the way around here. You'll see that there are these little uh, bits from where I've scraped it away. And I can, I can blend those like that and just scrape them away, just like that. And, and just kind of, you know, clean off my stick and go back to doing what I was doing. Now, I'll show you from this angle too. I'm just going to make some lines. The great thing about clay, it's it's uh, it's not permanent when it's wet like this. So if you make a mistake, you can just smooth it out again and uh, go back to your task. Okay, I'm really happy with how this looks and I'm ready to put the, I'm ready, I'm gonna clean off a little bit more here. I'm going, I'm ready to put this on the metal, the metal stick. So all you do is you insert, you'll, you know, go from the bottom here. This is very heavy and this, this gauge wire will um, support it. If you try to use your small wire, um, once it's dry, I have a feeling that the wire will just bend and not support this size of a mushroom. So this wire is really strong and stable. Okay, so now you're just going to find the center of your mushroom and pull, push the metal stick until you feel it. You'll, you'll have your finger on the end of your, or your hand and fingers on the end of your mushroom here, and you'll feel the wire go all the way to the end but not poke through. If it does poke through, just kinda ease it out a little bit and um, and then uh, smooth it. If you've created a dent, then just smooth it out. All right, so now your first mushroom is completely done. Uh, you can either stick this, uh, you can place this in a, I have an extra mug here to dry the mushrooms. Uh, you can also stick it in foam or anything that you have around that's going to keep it upright and not uh, if you and not um, damage the thing that you've made. Uh, if you place it on the table to dry, you risk having an indentation and, and kind of ruining your the creation your design basically. Okay, so now let's make let's make another let's make another mushroom. We're gonna make kind of the um, the uh, Oh gosh, I don't know. It's like, it's like, I don't know. I see these out in the wild. They're like the classic mushrooms. I wouldn't eat them. They're probably poisonous. Um, but you're gonna take off like, uh, again, like maybe a, um, excuse me, a strawberry size or golf ball size piece of clay from your, your uh, clay bit. And you're just going to roll it in a ball and then smash it down into a flat disc you can see that it's cracking as I'm flattening it. That's okay, don't stress. Uh, we're going to use our water to smooth that out. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab a little water and I'm going to rub that in there. The other thing that you can do if your cracks just are not going away is you can take just a little bit of clay from your, your big bit, dip it in water, like that. Okay, so it's covered in water, and then just use it as kind of a speckle to fill in those uh, those areas that just aren't uh, getting smooth with just water alone. It's a kind of a neat trick. Again, I'm gonna take just a little bit and I'm going to just rub it around my cracks to make sure that it looks nice and smooth. Okay, so I have this I have this disc. I'm really happy with it. And to get it to look like a mushroom, I'm just going to 
bend the top a little bit like that. I, if I you know want it thinner in some areas, I can I can choose to do that. Um, again, it's it's your mushroom. You, it can look however you want. It can look like a person if you want it to look like a person. It's totally up to you. Um, okay, so there it is. I have it. It's kind of you can see that it's a little bit it's a little bit uh, bowed there. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna set this aside. This is the this is the mushroom that we're gonna make that is in two pieces. So again, you're gonna take like a grape size piece of uh, piece of clay. <clears throat> And you're just going to roll it into, start again, roll it into a ball and then roll it into a tube. So you can just roll it between your fingers like that so that it becomes like the mushroom stalk. Like that. <clears throat> it might take some figuring out to decide how long you want your your stem to be or how thick you want it to be so you know i'm thinking right here mine looks a little wonky in the center so i'm going to start over because i don't like that um so i'm just going to fold it over and start start over again so i have this i have this crack and i know how to fix that i'm just going to grab a little water and rub that in and fix that just like that okay so i'm going to make it a little bit longer here Okay, I'm happy with that, with that length. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our wooden stick and we're going to make hatch marks on the top here, just like that, like that, and then set it down. And then you're gonna take your cap and you're gonna eyeball the center and make hatch marks there as well, just like that. This is so that the two pieces can sort of grip onto each other. You're gonna add, you're gonna dip your finger in the water and you're gonna add a little bit of water there. Not too much, just, you know, a little bit. And uh, I, I added a little too much, but I know I'm gonna need water for this end too. So I'm just gonna dip it there. And then you're just going to kind of twist it and affix it. You, you'll know, it'll definitely feel like it's secure on there. And then you're gonna take your wooden stick and you're just going to blend the two I'm what I'm doing is I'm working in a downward motion with my stick I'm just grabbing a little bit of the clay and I'm working in a downward motion and I'm just like pressing a little bit onto the cap so that it really feels like it's going to stay stuck there so I'm just going all the way around grabbing a little bit of clay from the stem and with the wooden stick all the way around. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to smooth it to, so that it looks the way I want it to look. Cause I don't necessarily want those, uh, I don't necessarily want to have those, those little obvious marks there. Okay, and then you're just gonna keep working just gonna keep working until until you like it, until you like the way it looks. So I'm gonna grab a little more water and I wanna just make sure that my stem is not going to come off. And, and, and to do that, I know I just need to keep smoothing it. And yeah, I'm feeling like that is really on there. And I'm really liking the shape too. I like how it's a little bit off kilter has a very mushroom look to me. Now, I could leave it, I could leave it at this and, and stick it onto the, onto the metal stick, or I could also decorate it. And I'm, I'm thinking like with this particular mushroom, I want to make skinny wedges here. So I know they have those, a lot of mushrooms that look like this have these little gill looking things on the underside. So I'm gonna do that all the way around. All right, again, I'm gonna find the center of my mushroom and I dot it there so I can get a feel for where it is. 
And then I'm going to insert the metal stick all the way through until I feel it kind of pressure on the other side. I don't want it to go all the way through. I just want to kind of feel that it's there. Okay, and now I can set it aside and let it dry. Ta-da! Okay, so as you can see, I made three, you know, pretty good sized mushrooms with the clay that I was in my kit. Um, so now I have enough, I was econ I economized. Now if you wanna make a giant mushroom, then you know, you use the whole thing. It's, it's your deal, you, it's your creative process. You do what you wanna do. Um, but we, we, I'm showing you that you do have enough to make uh, some small ones. Now these are going to be a lot smaller. So the wire is very thin and it will not hold a lot of weight. So I only need to make these, I only need like a garbanzo bean size piece of clay. So I'm gonna roll it in a ball, just like that. And for these ones, I'm gonna make uh, these little, I don't know, they're almost like gnome shaped to me. <laughs> these little mushrooms I've seen that have these tiny little tops. They're like a cone shape, like that. Again, you can decide what shape you want your your mushrooms. I'm gonna use my thumb to sort of flatten the top there. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside and now I'm gonna take another piece of clay that's like a garbanzo bean size, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna roll it into a ball and I'm going to, I'm going to actually, for this one, I'm gonna roll it on the table because I want it to be a little bit longer and skinnier than the others. I wanna make sure that I have enough wire. So I'm gonna measure, I'm gonna measure my wire against my, <clears throat> against my mushroom stick. Okay, also, if your wire is a little, is not as straight as you want it, you can just manipulate it until it, that goes, that's true for the, the thicker wire, the, the, six, the 12 gauge wire and this gauge. Um, so yeah, if it's not as straight as you want it, just kind of work it until it is straight, okay? Now, we're going to attach our two, I'm going to attach this to the top of a mushroom. Remember what we did, we made little X marks. Now this mushroom is a lot smaller, so what I'm gonna do is use my wire to make the hatch marks, because I feel like it'll make it a little deeper and a little narrower. I'm gonna do the same with this other end. Okay, I'm gonna dip that in water. That should be enough water to secure it. Okay, that. And then I'm gonna take my stick. I'm going to support my mushroom, the table, use the table to support my shrimp mushroom. And I'm just going to uh, use my wooden stick to blend and make a better, a more um, secure, Okay, so there we go. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I really like it. So now I'm gonna take my wire and I'm going to find the center. I'm just gonna poke a little dot there. I can see the center. And now I'm going to slowly, now this is a little wobblier, it's a little thinner, it's a little, uh, you can see how I, uh-oh, I just had my wire come out of the clay. No big deal, just pull, pull it away and try it again. Ta-da! All right, so I'm just gonna use a little water to um, blend that. No problem, you can't even tell where I did that. So here we go, so cute. I'm gonna put that in my cup to dry, okay? And then uh, just continue making the making them until you're satisfied with how they look and let them dry for at least a week before you paint them. It is especially if your mushroom is really big and thick, you're gonna want to let it dry as long as possible. Once your, your mushrooms are dry, then you can paint them. You can use acrylic, you can use spray paint. It's really up to you however you wanna paint them and what you want them to look like. 
Uh, before I let you go, I'm gonna show you one more way that you can create the stem around your wire. And that is just to flatten, like if, if you've tried to poke the wire through the base and it's just not working, the other thing that you can do is just create, make a flatten a piece of, of clay and then fold it around your wire like that and just squish it until it is exactly what you want it to look like. You, you, you could roll it, I think that works too. You roll it and then just sort of use your stick to flatten the base or you know whatever you want it to look like. Okay, let's go ahead and just finish this one off. We've got, we've got it in our, and these also can be much smaller. Like I, I feel like these are even pretty big. Um, if you wanna make something even tinier, a tinier mushroom, how cute would that be? You could, um, you could like, break off a pea size and oh my gosh i'm already like in love with this size right here it's so cute okay so here's our here's our bigger one okay i'm gonna take off a little more and this is like pea size for this extra small one i'm gonna make one that has this really flat And the fun thing too is when these are completely dry, you can paint them any way you want to, to make them look uh, like right out of Alice in Wonderland or you can leave them brown and just have them look natural. Okay, so here's my extra miniature size. I'm gonna make sure that's all the way down to the base here. And we're gonna use our same technique with the, making sure that there's some hatch marks there. And you just, you know, for this extra small one, you can just, you know, just rough it up a little bit. I'm gonna dip it in water and put it down. Now I'm not gonna spend a lot of time making sure that that is, is smoothed out because I'm going for kind of a rough look here. So as long as the it's wet enough to hold it on there and you have a place for it to dry, it should be, it should be just fine. I don't think you need to blend it. Okay, getting back to this one, let's go ahead and make a top for it. I think what I wanna do is make, oh my gosh, I think what I wanna do is make one that's like you'd see at a grocery store. So I'm just gonna make a ball. I'm gonna press my thumb in the center like that so I have like this divot. And I'm just gonna smooth it around like that. I can see that the top is really uh, cracked, so I'm just gonna do that trick I showed you earlier about blending and smoothing. Okay, and then again, we want to rough up the base. Rough up the top. Dip it in water. And I'm just, again, I'm not gonna spend any time smoothing this guy. I'm just gonna press it in there and call it good. Ta-da! All right, so you're gonna let those dry for a good long week. Like, for example, this is really thick. This mushroom cap here is really thick. This is gonna need at least a week to dry. So you let those dry for a week, and then after that, you can paint them as creatively as you want them. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you next time. Bye.